All right, what is up, YouTube and We're going to be going through some regional deck list. Um, the ABC guy didn't get back to me, so I don't get to include his video on this. He got 21st at a regional, but that'll be something for another video. So, uh, first we're going to be looking at is from Peter Azad. Uh, he made top 16 at his second event ever in Houston. It was a 300-person regional, and he did it with 60-card Danger Orcust Dinosaur. Look at this clusterfuck. Uh, but, I mean, he it's wonderful that he actually got the chance to succeed. And, I mean, congratulations, sir. So his matchups were round one, Danger Vanity's Fiend Turbo. It's pretty cool. He won that 2-0. Round two was against Salad. He won 2-0. Round three was against Trickstar. He won 2-0. Round four was against Danger Loonlight. He won 2-1. Uh, round five was against Mech Knight Invoked. Um, I believe he lost that. And round six and seven were Danger Thunder. He won. Round eight was against Sky Striker. He lost. And then round nine, he ended up beating Danger Thunder. But that's that's not all, folks. <laughs> we're gonna go into uh, his deck profile now. So we have triple copies of Overraptor. This is pretty self-explanatory for what he was trying to do here. Use the Dinosaur Engine in combination with the already abusable Danger Engine, and in combination with the Rank Up spell to you know get this beautiful card to get to this beautiful lad. And then you just lock your opponent out of the game. It, it's pretty straightforward with what you're trying to do. And I, I do think in some part, in some way, we're probably going to see rank up go. So enjoy what time you get with this. But hey, you get new workouts cards soon enough. So we have Triple Over Raptor. One copy of Giant Rex, still one of the best cards in this deck. We have one copy of our boy Prankatops. We have two copies of Overdeck Skultos. Uh, yeah, this these dinosaur ratios look pretty good. Two Ultimate Conductor, one Armageddon Man, one copy of Dark Greffer, triple copies of Danger Suchinoko, triple copies of Danger Ejaculate, triple copies of Nessie. Uh, I do like the two copies of Bigfoot, just in a situation where you find yourself needing to out something. Uh, he does act as another destructive force. Also, I mean, he is... 3,000, so if you get him on the board for OTK scenarios, I mean, he just puts more pressure on the opponent. And we have two copies of Chupacabra, two copies of Mothman, uh, we have two copies of Orcust, Nightmare, one Harpoor, one copy of Slimebowl Skeleton, and one copy of the World Wand. Now, Phantom Knight's pretty small package here. We have one Ancient Cloak, one Silent Boots, we have two Distrudo. Ah! Ah, cheers to the card that should have been banned. I love this guy. This guy still causes so many problems in the current format. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, but he still somehow escapes list every time. We have triple copies of Phantasmi. We have triple copies of Ash Blossom. We have two copies of Radeon and one copy of Doggo Man. This guy's also dark. That, that actually comes up. Now, spells. We have triple copies of Fossil Dig. We have triple copies of the Double Evolution Pill. Um, yeah, three of this is absolutely fine. I, kn I know somebody out there is going to be like, oh, can't you just play two? I, I I think this is fine, honestly. We have triple copies of Pot of Desires. One Rota. We have one Foolish Barrel. One copy of Orchestrated Return. One Ring of Magic Quick Launch. One Monster Reborn. And one copy of Ye Old Shade Brigadine. Extra deck here, we have one Yazi, One Azathoth. One Redoer. One Logia. One Dweller. One Boral Ode, one Boral Sword, one Summon Sorceress, one Rusty Tin Can, one Galtea, one Unicorn, one Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Mermaid, and one Link Crebo. Side deck, we actually have the Neospace Connector Engine, uh, one Aqualad, two copies of Bring It Ups, triple Ghost Ogre, triple copies of Twin Twister, and triple copies of Evenly Matched, wrapping up this list. So I do think, for the most part, that this is, for a concept like this, Peter did a fantastic job executing this and playing this at his event. And I, I don't have any personal qualms with this, so I definitely think those of you out there that are looking to play something like this, this seems like a very fun deck if you've already got the stuff. I don't recommend going out and spending all the money on the cards, but, you know, this is a nice little mix-up on the format. Once again, Orchestra Engine literally goes in everything. All right, next up, we're going to be looking at Nikolai Solos. Solomon great deck, actually from the uh, Florida Regional, I believe it was last weekend. Actually, this was sent to me, I didn't get the chance to get to this till now. So, this man played six Sky Striker, one True King Dino, and two Salad. Alright, like, let that sink in for a moment. This man had the shittiest journey to his regional top 
of his life. I mean, I guess you could argue that there would have been hella salad mirrors, but yeah, <laughs> this this was pretty pretty broken. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. We have triple copies of Effect Failure. Triple copies of Phantasmi. And we have triple copies of Flame of Buffalero. We've definitely seen a lot more people going towards Buffalero or Lady D. Like, I don't know. It's like 25 75 split on what players want to do with this. And it doesn't really surprise me, but it almost just comes down to player preference, I almost feel at this point, on which one of these you want to abuse. So this build definitely did Flame Buffalero. We have two copies of Ghost Ogre. We have one copy of the Falco, one copy of the Fowl, triple copies of Salaman Great Foxy, triple Gazelle, one copy of Jack Jaguar, and two copies of Spinny. Spell cards, we have triple Cold by the Grave, one Fusion of Fire, triple Salaman Great Circle, one Sanctuary, one Will of the Salaman Great. Trap board's actually pretty heavy here. We have one Rage, one Roar, one Judgment, two Strike, and one Warning. I actually... I've always been a fan of like wanting to play Psalms and things like Striker and whatnot, and we definitely see with Nikolai here, he was definitely taking a lot more advantage of his slower matchups, uh, which is definitely not a bad thing. I definitely think Nikolai knew what he was doing with this, especially the matchups this man played. Uh, the extra deck down here we have triple copies of Sunlight Wolf, two copies of Heat Leo, triple Balanix, one copy of Phoenix. One Hita the Fire Charmer. We have one Borlo, one Mirage Dahlia, one Baguski, one Abyss Dweller, and one Violet Chimera. Ye old side deck. We have Triple Lancia. We have two Prankatops, two Turtles, two copies of Forbidden Chalice, one copy of Super Poly, two copies of Twin Twister, two copies of Evenly Matched, and one in pre order wrapping up this list. Congratulations, Nikolai, on your regional top, buddy. I actually. I actually really like this. I haven't seen the Solomon engine really come into play. I mean, I, we've seen it, but it's like, nobody really ever talks about it. It's a, it's a strange boy. And the last list we actually have here is from uh, Akdia Aranov. Um, he got 38th place at, or yeah, 38th place, top 64 of an 800 man regional, uh, which, I mean, in and itself is pretty fucking impressive for the most part. Like, when was the last time? We saw Mech Knights do anything. Especially, you remember the concept of the side deck that could transform and you could blind bring in the Trickstar engine against your opponent depending on which mode they would make you play? Because they see you're playing Mech Knight, so you would, they make you go first. Well, you actually just board in the Trickstar engine down here and you just, you blow your opponent out. Like, what are they supposed to do? Like, they try to counterpick you, so you counterpick them back. Like, I, I actually, you know, I talk a lot of shit on Mech Knight and Trickstar, but it's kind of glad, to, or kind of good to see that they made friends. You know what I mean? So, watch who you make fun of in high school, because they might come back and double team you. All right, so we have two copies of Alistair, or triple copies of Alistair. We have two copies of Bash Blossom, two copies of Cyber Dragon. This is actually pretty interesting, but in a format where you're able to draw this and counter the opponent, I actually really like this. Uh, we have two copies of Effect Veiler, two copies of Gamma Seal. Triple copies of Yield Blue Sky, one Indigo Eclipse, triple purple Nightfall, one copy of the Yellow Star, two Called by the Grave, triple Instant Fusion, two copies of Invocation, triple Magical Meltdown, triple Mind Control, hmm, who doesn't love moving the opponent's shit out of the way so you can make an Invoker for no reason. We have one copy of Monster Reborn, two copies of Desires, one Hornet Drones, two copies of Terraforming, and two copies of Twin Twister. The extra deck down here, we have one Underclock Taker, one Kagari, one Link Karibo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Decode Talker, one Boral Sword, one copy of Alistair the Invoker of Madness, we have one Thousand Eyes Restrict, one Millennium Eyes, two Purgatrio, two copies of Makaba, and we have one copy of Khmer Tech Mega Fleet. Side deck, we have two Droll and Knockbird, triple Candina, one copy of Carlbane, one copy of Lilybell, two copies of Licorice, and triple Light Stage, and triple Reincarnation, wrapping up these decks for this week. Remember, guys, turn on the bell notification. Always subscribe to the channel for all of these fun, fantastic decks. Remember, every Tuesday 
and Friday, we have Market Watch on the channel, which, I mean, is probably the most exciting segment on here. Next to OCG Thursday, where we kind of analyze and see, huh, OCG's playing this this week. I don't know what the heck they're thinking, but, you know, it's literally just kind of what goes through the mind of the OCG player, I feel. So, guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about these decks. Congratulations to all of these duelists and their regionals endeavors, actually. And, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a Truffle Shuffle incident all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.